This is Eartha, who is featured in this video at a time when she didn't understand what a camera was and she was looking at that instead of at me. Hi, I'm Jane from Twofold Books and this is Eartha. And I usually have more than one perspective or answer. I'm filming this at editing because I didn't realize I hadn't filmed an intro or maybe even an outro. Today I'm going to start reading Woman of the Ashes by Mia Kuto, which is from Mozambique. And all I have about it is that it's about two people on opposite sides of a colonialism war. I think I got that about right. I kind of like going into books knowing almost nothing about them. So, so Mia Kuto is from Mozambique. Um, and it's trans this is translated from Portuguese. So we'll see how far I get today. It's bedtime. I made it to the quarter mark, which is about seven pages. And I really like it so far. It's really different than what I thought. I very much thought it was going to be another book about war, another big, mostly tragedy kind of thing. And I'm sure there's more of, well, maybe not. Apparently it's the first in a series. There's three of them. So maybe a lot of the more brutal stuff is in some of the sequels. But so far, it's from the perspective of a young woman from Mozambique and then we get letters written from the perspective of a Portuguese sergeant to his mentor. So that's really interesting and different from how contemporary group cast books are. But it's a it's a much faster read than I would have expected. And I feel like I'm learning a lot about Mozambique. I feel like I would maybe understand a little better if I spend a little time on the internet tomorrow nailing down some of this history. This is, you know, a historical fiction about a history I've never encountered. I guess I'll check in again tomorrow uh, or at the half mark at some point. <laughs> I'm almost to the halfway point, but I feel like I'm behind. I couldn't read Tuesday because a professional thing came up. I just had to focus on that. And then I couldn't read yesterday because I crashed out at 8 p.m. And I just slept for like 11 hours. So my goal today is to make it to the three-quarter mark. I feel like I'm a little less excited than when I started the book. The first chapter really was exciting, and then the second chapter was like, that's a, that's a letter. That's a long letter. So it seems like the letter chapters are shorter than the other chapters, but still. Yeah, I'm just not quite sure what's going on, but maybe if I get a little further, I'll feel a little more confident. <laughs> So I only read about 35 pages, but I do know what's going on. I just, I thought that that was context, not the point. But, so it takes place at a time when there are two... Well, yeah, two wars going on. There is uh, the last emperor of Mozambique is conquering other um, people from Mozambique. And at the same time, there is Portuguese colonization going on. So the characters we're sticking with are the Portuguese sergeant who is in charge of a, of a pretty abandoned barracks. His name is Germano, and really the main character is Imani, and she's from the community that was there before colonization, and her family was also from another place and is, is running and leaving from the conquering of the southern em 
emperor. Imani's chapters are spoken to the audience, and Germano's chapters are letters written to his superior, I guess. And the story moves along through each chapter, so we sort of get her version of what happened, and then he pushes the story a little bit further with his version of what happened, including, you know, he feels that they're having a romance and she feels a little bit colonized at this point. And I think the action just kicked off just now because now there's a clear betrayal. So I do feel a little more anchored. <laughs> I finished Woman of the Ashes last night, but I had something in my eyes and I was just itching and leaking and I could not have filmed. So I'm starting a new vlog today, but I thought I should finish up the first vlog first. I learned from the forward. Is it the forward? I learned from the introductory note from the author that this is the first book in a trilogy and I can really see why it's mostly about these characters, the sort of action, the plot that I was expecting didn't really happen in this novel. We got to a point where I'm sort of like, oh okay, trouble's coming at the end of book one, or I guess trouble's, trouble's arrived, but we don't know all of the drama of that. It definitely had uh, enemies to lovers direction, but um, I found it really interesting the way that the Imani, the woman in this story, perceived that. At the very beginning of this, she really didn't see the Portuguese man, Germano, as someone she was going to care about. I'm not drawn to read the sequels. I might later in my life, but I don't urgently feel like I need to know what happens right now. And I have so many other African books to read this year. It was very poetic, the passages that were from Imani's perspective in particularly, but I think the, the poetry of Germano just being so wrong and not having any idea that he is, is also really fascinating. As historical fiction goes, I enjoyed this. This did bring a lot to me, made me really curious about Mozambique. <laughs> made me want to learn more, but my next step is going to be to do that uh, on the internet and see what I see. I think it's possible I would appreciate and understand this even more if I already understood Mozambique, if I already knew things about the country's history, which I don't. That was my journey through Woman of the Ash. It's been harder to read this week than I thought it would be. I thought I'd get through that book in just a couple of days and it took me most of a week. So if you like this video or any of my others, please like, comment, and subscribe. Feed the algorithm beast. And if you like vlogs and would like to see more, please comment and let me know. Let me know what you like about vlogs. If you like hearing perspectives, spoilers, more plot and synopsis, more reflection. I'm very curious to know what draws people to a reading vlog. But that's all I got for this one. See ya!